Welcome to Unreal Engine. So I'm going to teach you a little bit about how to navigate. So right now I have my finger down on the right mouse button, which allows me to, to move around like this. As you can see, I'm not moving, but, uh, you know, I can look up and down and so on. So to move forward, uh, one of the things we're going to do right off the bat, if you're beginners, is bring down the speed to two. Okay. Um, and so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the W key and press at the same time the left mouse button. So what you'll see is I'll start moving forward and the WASD. So WASD keys are really, really useful. If you play any video games, you know. So let's look at A and clicking on the left mouse button, D and clicking on the right, on, on the left mouse button, and S goes back, and Q, really useful, uh, goes down, and E goes down. Another way to move in the space is pressing the Alt key. Alt is your friend, is what I always tell my students. So if I press the Alt key and the left mouse button, you can see how it's moving like this and and the alt and the uh, the right mouse button moves forward but i rather use the the, the scroll uh, mouse as you can see as i'm scrolling it moves forward another thing that's really useful with the scroll uh, button is if you press down on it it actually has a click feature and you can see you can move up and down when it's clicked down so students should spend a little bit of time looking at that um, and manipulating the space. But I'll also give you, and here the world outlier is really important, so you can always click on the top if you're lost or something. And you know, sometimes what'll happen is students will get completely lost in space, okay? So I'm gonna go really high here and just click, oh my, and then they're like, I don't know how to get back, and it's then they start scrolling and it takes forever. So one of the things that's really useful is this world outlier. So if you can, one of the main things in your game is your character, which is called a third person character. And probably the most important hotkey of all is the F key. So if you get lost, you just click on something and press F and boom, you're back. So that made it move really, really quickly. And again, I'm going to recommend for beginners that the, you know, four is probably a better speed. Students have a harder time with this than a lot of the fancy technical stuff that uh, we do is just a moving in space and we're also going to use the content area for now and uh, you know so we want to go back to the root and we're looking for the starter content and what i want to do is i'm going to drag in a chair so i'm just to drag the chair and drop it and you see as soon as you drop it in it shows up in your world outlier and i don't know if you noticed that when i dragged it in down here this changed as well so this is the details panel. It's very important. So every time you select on something different, the details for that come up. Now be aware that these can be very, uh, there's a lot of features in here. And as long as they're just playing right now, and what I would say, don't save, uh, they probably shouldn't, you know, they can play around and try stuff. Okay. But what I wanted to do is bring your attention to this chair. And I'm just going to press the F key again, because it's a, a good way and it seems a little bit off and that's why we're moving around in in uh, in 3d space and uh, I'll use the alt and left mouse button as you can see that allows me so alt and left mouse button so alt is your friend that's what I always tell the students a very useful tool and right now you're seeing uh, some handles that are attached to this so th what this is is there's the move tool okay and so the W E R key without clicking. So I'll show you W. This is the move tool. And what does that allow me to do? Moves it in the space. The E key allows me to rotate. And you know, you probably know this, but control Z is your friend as well. And the uh, R key allows the modifying of the size. So W E R are also really interesting and allow you to, uh, to to have a little bit of fun. So what I would say at this point is I would just let students play around a little bit with this. Uh, practice moving in space. Uh, drag in a chair. Uh, try and move it around. Maybe drag in a second chair. And what I'm going to say is they probably 
should not drag in too much stuff because we're going to be keeping the same level. Uh, really what we want to accomplish is that they're practicing moving around. So click, so left click and W. Left click and D. Left click and A. Left click and Q. Left click and E. So just some basic, basic things. And for now, I'm going to ask that students not delete anything in the space. So like, you know, they could click on this and delete it, which we will need to do. But just tell them to move around the space. And one thing too, when they're done all that, one thing that's really cool is pressing the play button. And maybe they can finish with that once they've added a bunch of stuff. So they can move around with their character. Uh, again, W A S D keys is how they're moving. And they can use the right mouse button to change the view, just like they would in a video game. If they played video games, they'll be very familiar with this. And just run around in a space bar is the jump. And for now, you know, we are going to be building a whole world so that this character can run around it. That's our goal. Our goal. So uh, let the students play around. And I know that was a really quick introduction. But a lot of what we'll be covering the course will allow students to uh, enrich their uh, understanding of the game engine. All right. Thank you.